Welcome, my friends. It's November 1st and Halloween is behind us. Did you have a fun, spooky month last month? I had so much fun from the first day of my vision board till my Halloween story. And I hope you tuned in last night and heard it. It takes a Alice in Wonderland to another level, if I must say myself. Anyway, I had a blast, but the witch is gone. And now we get to focus on countdown to Christmas and Thanksgiving. I cannot wait. This is going to be a great month. Do you fall behind on getting gifts and cards and all of that? I'm going to keep you right on track. I cannot wait to share all my ideas with you and my vision board. Hi, I'm Bonnie Overman. I want to thank you for joining me today. I hope my channel will inspire you to lead a more productive, creative, and stylish life at any age, always on a budget. You know, I'm now 73 and I just say it because if I can do it, I know you can do it too at any age. I have confidence in you. I want to thank my wonderful subscribers, all my dear sweet friends that watch my videos, that take the time to comment and are so kind and loving. You really touch my heart. And if you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so. You don't want to miss upcoming Christmas. It is the best time of the year. And if you like this, please give me a thumbs up. It does help my channel. Okay, so November, you know, we're in very short times now between holidays. So when you stop and think about Thanksgiving, okay, it's the 28th of this month. If you wait till after Thanksgiving to start Christmas, you basically have about three weeks and then it's all over. So I say in November, especially this early November, this is November 1st, let's get going on all the things that really stress us out in December and do them before Thanksgiving. So I, I'm i gonna tell you all about what we're gonna do this month. So we're gonna concentrate on a lot of Thanksgiving and getting ready for Christmas. So you know, the first of every month, I have a vision board and I like to share this. I put it in my office on the wall just so it keeps me in the right direction for the month. But anyway, so November, and it's all about Thanksgiving. I have an adorable Thanksgiving um, old fashioned looking card here. And I've got a beautiful Anna Griffin pumpkin up here. And I have a list to do. This, I first, I really think the first couple of weeks in November are always kind of wasted. So we're kind of, ah, oh, okay, Halloween's over. Thanksgiving is, you know, not till the end of the month. I can kind of goof off for the rest of the time. That's what I think anyway. I can sit and watch my videos and drink my decaffeinated coffee and have my sugar-free chocolates and just lay around. Uh-uh. This is the time of the month we want to get it done. And I'm telling you, you're going to feel such satisfaction and I'm going to help you. So this is the time we're going to talk about cards, parties. We're going to talk about planning and we're going to talk about gifts. Now, along with Thanksgiving, again, getting ready for Christmas, I'm going to have a lot of gingerbread ideas this month. And you can see there's two tags that have gingerbread faces. And look at the cute little turkey. I'm going to show you how to make this. We're going to put it on all kinds of things. Stay till the end of the video. I have two crafts I want to show you having to do with Thanksgiving. And I'm going to show you how to make them this month. And then, of course, down here, we have pumpkin pie and we have a little gingerbread house here. So it's kind of a Thanksgiving last little bit to um, celebrate autumn. And I love Thanksgiving, um, although I can't eat all the food anymore. I love the feeling of family and friends and love and being blessed and thankful for things. That is such a good feeling. We should have that feeling every day, hopefully. And um, and then all the excitement before Christmas, because once Christmas gets here, it's over. And so we want to enjoy all of it leading up to Thanksgiving and to Christmas. And I'm going to help you do that. Okay, so let's talk about what I have planned for this month. Now, you know, every month I do a decor. I have for you two mantles and a side table decorated for Thanksgiving, or I should say the end of fall. They're totally different. I've never done these before, and I can't wait to show you. One's all around a painting, a fall painting. The other one's around some rooster plates. I can't wait to show you all of that. And then I've kind of extended that into my little trunk. 
Okay, I'm doing one video that has tables and trays in it. I'm doing a little less because remember in September, I did four fall tablescapes and four fall uh, tiered trays for you. And if you want more ideas than what I give you this month, feel free to go back. But I'm giving you three Thanksgiving tablescapes. One is all in neutrals and kind of sage and tan colors with a touch of country French. The other one is all about blue and white with a touch of orange or all those fall colors. And then my grand finale is so cuckoo and crazy, but it's got my rooster tablecloth with roosters and pumpkins and leaves and feathers and a little turkey and my rooster plates. I can't wait to show you. It's so much fun. You decorate this with your grandkids and put some eggs on the table and feathers. I mean, it's going to be just so much fun. As far as my tear trays go, one is going to be all about uh, turkeys and one's all about sunflowers. You know, I haven't done anything with sunflowers and I want to do that. I have a video for you. You know, every year I go to one of my favorite decor shops through the garden gate. It's in La Habra. And um, I film a little video in there and set it to Christmas music. And it's very short. I think it's under two minutes. And it's just enough just to show you some ideas and color schemes for your Christmas. Because now is when we should be planning for Christmas. I got so many ideas. I have to just kind of decide which one I'm going to go with because I am also going to be doing this month. I'm going to be decorating my tree towards the end of the month, right after Thanksgiving and decorating my dining room. And you're going to know a little bit down the road what my theme is going to be. I'm doing different themes this year. I'm so, so excited about that. Now we're going to have two videos and this is where I, I offer you a challenge. It's called Countdown to Christmas 1 and 2. And the first one is going to be out in just a couple days. And it's going to be what you can do now before Thanksgiving. And I'm going to concentrate on Christmas cards. I'm going to concentrate on gift lists. Right now, go to your family tonight at dinner and say, okay, I want to know what you guys want. You know, I want at least five things or however you want to do it. I want a list from everybody by the end of the week or in two days or however you want to do it. Call up some of your friends you buy gifts for. What do you really want for Christmas? Do you want candles or bath stuff or a robe? What is it you really, really want? And get the list made. Then you can order your gifts. Try to get as much as you can online. It's so easy to do that because you just have to wait for it to come to the door. It's already in a box and you just wrap it. So that is the way to go. Are you going to have any parties? Um, Thanksgiving or for Christmas or cocktail parties or whatever, now is the time to start thinking about your theme, when you're going to have it, and inviting the people. I'm not kidding. Uh, I found last year I had to invite people beginning in November to catch them in time, even during the week, to come to my parties. So if you're going to do a Saturday or a Sunday party, you better invite people now. So it's a good time to start planning. So that's in countdown number one. Countdown number two is wrapping the gifts you bought, sending out the cards you made, and finishing planning for the parties, getting your paper goods, figuring out your decor, buffet, sit down, what food you're going to have, all of that. So I have two videos, Countdown to Christmas. So I'm telling you, after Thanksgiving, I'm going to do my tree with you. And I, I'm just using those couple of days and do my dining room and finish in my dinner. And I'm going to be done and ready because here's another tip. Plan one of your first parties the first week in December. Everybody's going to be free for the most part. They're going to love you because you're going to get them in the Christmas spirit. You're going to have the parties done and over with. So then you can relax and watch movies and just have a good time with your family and slide right into Christmas Eve and Christmas. I think it's really, really important. So you don't want to miss these countdown to Christmas videos. I have some craft videos. One is going to be for Thanksgiving. Are you going or are you hosting? We're doing one of the two usually. And so I'm going to give you ideas for gift bags, for thankful books, for little turkeys you can put on the table. Stay till the end. I want to show you what that's going to be. Then I'm going to do a trash to treasure Christmas. This is going to be a variety of things. How to use scrap paper and little odds and ends you have to make 
Christmas things. Now's the time to do it. You know December 1st comes and you basically have two and a half weeks. How can you do all your shopping and decorating? You can't, that's why we're all so stressed. If Christmas was at the end of the month, but it's not really at the end of the month, okay? And I want you to be thinking of things, new traditions you'd like to do after Christmas, because the day after Christmas, I'm gonna come back with some post-Christmas fun. We're gonna have fun until the beginning of the year and then start 2025 out with a bang. So those are crap videos. And then we're gonna decorate my tree and we're gonna decorate the dining room totally different. I'm going kind of a Ralph Lauren country French look. I can't wait for this month because when we get towards the end of the month, I am going to be done. Cards done, gifts done. Just sit back and have my parties, which I do heavy appetizers. And then I just slide into Christmas and it's, such a wonderful feeling not to be out shopping and rushed. I don't like to be out with a bunch of sick people. I have to be honest, I'm kind of a germaphobe. And so I don't shop. I don't do doctor's appointments. I don't do anything in December. December is wrapping gifts, enjoying my house, enjoying movies and little treats and, and just really having a good time. So I hope you can do that too. Let me show you. I have two things I want to show you. So you might want to start buying this thing now. Okay. Look at this little treat bag. Isn't that just the cutest thing ever with a little turkey on it? Now this turkey is made out of paper punches, a maple leaf paper punch and two scallop paper punches, the round ones that makes the body of the turkey and some little maple leaf ones. You might want to see if you can get that because you can make adorable turkeys with it. You can also make a thankful book with it out of paper bags. You have some paper bags left from Halloween, maybe treat bags. I'm going to show you how to make these. All right, you all, that's all for now. Um, I hope you had a great Halloween. We're going to have a fabulous November and get so productive and have so much fun decorating. Isn't that the fun part anyway? I hope you love this. I hope you get so inspired and so excited for this holiday season. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye.